okay? And everybody like, well, why did you get pregnant? Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, so um, I'm sure you guys have already seen this. This is about Miss Brittany having her Risa Tisa moment because um, I've seen this before, mm -hmm, but she couldn't have no 50 part like Miss Risa Tisa. Anyway, if y'all don't know who she is, look her up. But yes, before we get into the video, you know what to do, like, subscribe comment cut your notifications on all right so yeah um she's talking about um how she and james decided to have a baby let's get into it it was not planned the first uh, honey why is she going and say it was not planned we already heard this story and we all know it was planned okay it might not been planned between she and james but she darn sure planned it uh-huh and um anyway i mean it is what it is the babies are bacon we don't really care all this other stuff that's going on is unfortunate but it's old and a lot of it went on before the babies were even conceived she wants to play like you know the v word y'all but she's not because she knew about all of this him being the devil okay and still went and got pregnant you get what i'm saying full knowing couple of months last like de last year december from october to december we was like he kept telling my dad yeah i want to have kids yeah i want to build a family and yeah i'm about to put about to put some kids in her pops da -da 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 -da. So you telling me that this man told your dad that he was about to have some kids by you, but he don't want to get married, and he's telling your father this, and your father just sat there and was okay, and you guys are okay with it? Now, granted, now, she was married at the time, so you're telling me that he was okay to have a child by a married woman? What kind of mess is this? Does anybody have any morals, any values? Do anybody know how order goes in life? Oh, anyway, let's continue to listen to the story. Okay, so after I had started, he was like, tell the doctor to get, you know, your stuff, start so we can start working on it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, by the way, I stop every few seconds in this video. So if y'all trying to get a little whatever, whatever, my voice is going to be all up and through this. Anywho, what did he tell you to uh, get from the doctor? If you, it, it sounds like that would be for the the BC. What, he, what, what you going to take, some fertility pills or something? Ah, is that what it is? So we can go ahead and work on it? Yeah, uh-huh, but it wasn't planned. Which one is it? She just be going and going, telling stories and not even listening to herself. Is the wig covering her own ears? Do you hear yourself, Brittany? It's not making sense. The next day, I'm like, I'm still going through this divorce though. The next day, after I buy all the stuff and after I go to the doctor, he like, uh, I don't think I want to have kids with somebody who's still married. So you think? He came to his senses, huh? You know what I'm saying? Now, we hope that this, this storyline is true. So, all we can do is go by what she's saying. So, basically, she said that after everything, after she did everything, she went to the doctors, got whatever she needed to do or whatever. Then he said, you know what? On second thought, I don't want to have no child by somebody who's married. Uh, yeah, but, Brittany, the thing about it is, why did you want to have a child with somebody and you still married? You know, this is why people say it's a pattern. You won't keep doing this until you can't do it no more. I just keep thinking this. So, yeah, let's keep going. Like, okay, cool. I don't care. Like, I, I'm about to live my best life anyway. For me, in my head, I'm like, I'm about to be divorced, girl. What you think? What are you thinking about? You're not even married to this person yet. And he told me. Huh, Miss $10,000 ring lady. Did you just say you're not married to him yet? But just a few weeks ago, you was like, you didn't want to get married. Then you said he gave you a friendship ring, but you didn't want no marriage. And then you are still married at this time of your thought. Baby, you are over the place. You don't know how to just be where you need to be, which is a mother. And basically brushing yourself off from your last relationship, which you claim that was horrid. Usually, if it's so horrible, you're not going to want to jump back into the god darn um, thing of dating and everything. So, I don't think that relationship was too horrible. I think you wanted to replace that relationship. I have kids. 
that should be a red flag too. But it wasn't. I ignored it. I'm like, this person must seriously want to be with me because I already got four. Why would you want to give me more kids than you have none? So what? James is Santa Claus or something? It, what, what, he just gonna give you some kids, baby. It take two, doesn't it? Oh, you you just gonna sit here and say, oh, it's him. He the one who wanted kids. It's him. He tricked me. He he trapped me. Why would you want to give me more kids? Why would you want more? You can't even handle the ones you have. This is, I mean, this is a far cry from what she was. Y'all got to um, check out my uh, TT, but I'm sure y'all already seen it. But anyway, um, that darn video, because I did a commentary over there. So y'all go over to TT to see that darn video. She, I had to mock out the whole thing. She's completely different on this one, honey. Oh, she real PC. Uh... Why would you still want to keep trying to fight for something with me? And you have all the freedom in the world to go do you and be you. You don't have no kids. You don't have no attachments. You don't have nothing tied to me. Now, with all due respect, Miss Brittany, the same goes for you. You didn't have any attachments to him either. No children with him. No, no nothing. No businesses with him. You could have done the same thing and said, heck no. You could have been like, yeah, that's a red flag. Dun, dun, dun. You know, that man, you know, probably wanted to trap you, right? That's what you're trying to say. But you were so in la-la land. You were so trying to hurt your ex. Mind you, you were still married, so we all know that you were still attached. See, women, we don't just move on like that. We're not like guys. They can do that, but we can't, all right? So, yeah, just just say, look, I, I'm going to take this on the chin. So I that's another bad reason decision. why I kept thinking, okay, this person must really want to be with me because I got kids, I got this crazy, messy divorce going on, and he's still here, and then these people on social media, and he's still here. And then of course he's still there. Mind you, this is the time in which, you know, you said you went to the premiere of the Wu-Tang and all that. Y'all got to see her whole whatever. But you get what I'm saying? He was what? He was eager. He was hungry. And you probably was talking a lot of stuff in his ear, Miss 10K Ring. Honey, you supposed to be the prize. You get what I'm saying? He's supposed to be wooing you. But you over here wooing him with, with gifts and, and, and all this. And all this shaking off that you did personally in y'all boudoir and all that. Of course he gonna stay. A man wants some good food. I don't know if he got that there from you because you hardly eat. But he wants somewhere to stay and play. And people will start attacking him because he with me and he's still here. So I'm blindsided and I'm like, this person must really love me want to be with me. I don't know. So anyways, as I'm still going on, going on, going on, I forgave him for cheating. I forgave You jumping the horse, ain't you, Brittany? Um, you don't forgive no boyfriend for cheating. I mean, you barely do that for a husband. But, I mean, you didn't even know this guy right there. And he's sitting there cheating on you in the beginning. And you continue to do whatever and have these babies talking about you forgave him he didn't even earn your forgiveness he didn't earn nothing he didn't earn all that stuff you said that you did to get uh pregnant and all that he didn't deserve that uh make these men earn it i know your dad ain't telling you but i'm telling you and anybody else listening he has to earn it and the way you earn it is by getting a ring on it y'all all like b but y'all ain't even listening to her lyrics him for disrespect. i forgave him for talking to me like the way he talked to me Say he was gonna do better. He said he was gonna do therapy. He told me he had issues that he needed to work on. That's why he was gonna do therapy. Okay. Therapy for a boyfriend, for a fling, for a one night stand. You giving him a little too much, honey. You should have said, uh uh, I'm not for this. I got these children. I'm just getting out this marriage. I got a divorce. I ain't got time to deal with somebody with X, Y, and Z. Y'all both may have some issues with X, Y, and Z, obviously, because you done made a temporary situation permanent. It don't matter what you say about this man. It don't matter if you with him or not. The point is, those children is the glue. That is what's going to basically cleave y'all together forever. Okay? And that's for me and everybody else, honey. It don't matter, baby. He your baby daddy for life. Never did no therapy. Lied. So, let's move forward to me finding out I'm pregnant. I did not tell him until I got to Aruba. Mind y'all, that whole... Before I found out those couple of days, I had just found out that this man was, I had just got a video because I can't confirm or deny if it's true or not. But I got a video of him with some girl pushing him away and it looked like he was about to fight somebody. So I'm like, yeah, you must have been drinking. So let me get this straight. You had it all on tape, on tape, and you still 
went on and continued this situation. Now, at this time, of course, she shares this part when she says she already found out she was pregnant. So once the, once the babies are there, that's it. You get what I'm saying? It clink, clink. But the thing about it is you continue to still have a relationship. You're opening yourself up to problems when this man is showing you that he has aggression. He's showing you that he's not faithful. He's showing you that he has some in, in, um, some instabilities in his um, thinking, and yet you're still there. Y'all got a lot in common. That's why you're still there. Just admit it, sis. I'm just so, saying. So, I'm like, you was with that girl? Because that's what the girl said in the DM. And he like, no. Mind you, I don't know why people think I'm boo-boo the fool, and I don't know why people think I'm not going to find out. Now, Brittany... With all due respect, people think that way because of the decisions that you have been making. All right? You were in a tumultuous relationship, allegedly. Then you jump out and you get into another tumultuous relationship that you have confirmed this story three times. Then you get pregnant. Then you go back. And now you in here complaining again, but this two, three months ago, you were saying it was all a lie. This is why. And not to mention that darn wig is so thick, ma'am. Please take the bulk out of it, y'all. Especially when you're known for being with me. You're known on the internet for being my boyfriend. So why wouldn't you think that if somebody saw you? See, right then and there when she said my boyfriend, I just, oh, honey, you are not in high school. You are of a particular age, got six kids, got a divorce. Baby, that ain't your darn boyfriend. That, that's your man or your male friend or something. Come on, step up your darn vocab. Okay, you got the darn vocabulary of a 14-year-old at this point when you say, my boyfriend. That man ain't your boyfriend. He everybody's friend. He just happens to be a boy. You get what I'm saying? It is what it is. You just say he seen him on tape. Talking about that's your boyfriend. He, he barely your friend, girl. He ain't got your best interest at all. They're not going to record and see you nothing so mind you i see this video she just pushing him away they wasn't like you know lovey dovey way but she's just pushing him away i had already made up in my mind that i was done i didn't want to do nothing I, I was done i didn't want to be with him no more okay this was may because this was yeah this was may because my birthday was june and he her which what she needed to say is she was done for now because she's never done you get what I'm saying? She ain't going to never be done. And there's no possible way you can be fully done. Because the thing about it is now you got two baby daddies. Right? You got two baby. You got three. But you got two at the same time with children. I mean, with a relationship that is in turmoil. So you already going through it with the first, with, with your husband or your ex-husband. Now you got another one. This man's going, and it's two kids this time. So you, it's double trouble. And you talking about you've done no this is just beginning you just this is beginning of all of your spiraling through life baby please read the word and get yourself together because you got some work which is why y'all are like why he didn't come so anyways i was done but when we went to his birthday trip for aruba i already spent money on that so he came to the house apologized let me just say that I need to change my trajectory on all of my darn abilities on this social media. Because this lady said she paid for Aruba. She paid for Jamaica. She gave this man a $10,000 ring and whatever else that this woman has gifted. She making that moo-moo, honey. You can't hate on Miss Brittany. You know, hate on the game, but not the player. The girl is making money. Now, her children need their hair done and stop. And they need to stop wearing all those hand-me-downs. But the girls seem to have some moo. Lie. So we can't be saying the girl ain't got no money or she may not have any left because James is expensive. He was really having a good time with her. Okay, can we say good time? Yeah, James. That's so why I showed y'all that ring camera. That is not the first time that man has came to my house begging to come back, begging, saying he's sorry, come in, come in, let me in. Let me. Brittany, that's not a flex that that man is begging to come back knowing he did you like that. Okay, he's begging to come back because you are just one of the homes that he needs in the city that you're in. I'm just keeping it 100. When he's ready to be a mama's boy, he's back with his mama. When he want to have a different flavor, he's back with, with, with Yvette. And you peanut. Okay, just understand that. Stop mentioning that that man was on God darn camera saying, let me in, let me in. He was doing that because he ain't got nowhere else to go. So it's like darn there, like you were his shelter. You get what I'm saying? That ain't nothing to talk about. He ain't trying to get you, baby. If you weren't in there, he still would ask somebody to let him in because he need to stay somewhere. He's caught a whole Uber. I mean, let's keep it real. Let me in. Let's work on it. Da, da, da. That's not the first time. That's why I put on that video part one because I was going to go down 
all the videos and just post them but it is what it is for the people who kept saying oh he don't want you oh he don't care about you oh you delusional oh he 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 hates you that's why he let us leave hate comments about you honey you are a little bit delusional when you let the man rule you with the things that he has which in james's case we all know what he has and honey you can literally get that anywhere anyway um yes baby you think you keep saying he care about you no he doesn't the stories that you're given is contradicting that because you're saying he did all this stuff he put his hands on you incorrectly he he cheated on you how does he care about you did nobody sit you down you don't understand you, you really don't understand. A man doesn't like you. He doesn't love you. He doesn't care about you because he wouldn't treat you in that manner. Okay, let's just keep it real. Boo-boo, no. The, the man be on the ring camera and on my daddy phone big and talk about how he can't live without me. Okay? There's proof of that too. But anyways, next. Like I said, I was done with him. This was this year. So when I went to him, when I went with him to Aruba for his birthday, I had already paid for that, mind you, and I also had already paid for my birthday trip again to Jamaica to a different place. But I had went with him to Aruba. He invited his mom. So you thought she was gonna pay for a darn trip to Aruba, and it's just a nice little romantic getaway. I guess I don't know if you had your children or not, because she didn't say that. But um, he he invites his mom. Yeah, yeah, he wants his mama to live good. Honey, not on his back, though, but on yours. Girl, bye. This man is something else. You just sat there, opened up your whole pocketbook, and that man just kept on taking, taking, taking. You allowed this, so therefore he did it. At the first time that man showed himself, you should have been out of there for the sake of yourself and your children. Wise up, or you going to keep going through it. But the next one might be worse than James, and we don't want that. His mom came. This is where this again. Just mind y'all, I just told y'all this man I'm pregnant. Y'all see the video. This man gets upset with me because he's like, I feel like you posted that video so you can make me want to have a baby. And I'm like, wait, how, 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 why would he even say that? Why would he say, oh, I feel like you posted that video because you tried to make me have a baby if you already pregnant and we all know that you had two pregnancy tests in a little box and you said it's true. I took two. You had it. You were showing everybody. So why would he say you tried to make? See, this is this is see. You gotta you gotta have a writer, ma'am, because it doesn't make any sense. He, I would understand him saying, "Oh, you tried to take the attention or whatever." But why would he say that you tried to make him have something that's already been made? Makes you think and say, "Hmm, right? Yeah." How can I trap somebody when number one, I'm trapping? What am I trapping? Let's be for real. What am I trapping? Y'all be acting like because somebody in movies and TV shows that they this big person. No, 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 no. If that was the case, the person would just deactivate their Facebook page and go on about their happy married business. But no, you see them on Facebook Live, don't you? You see them keep posting content, don't you? Okay, so that means that person is not doing what y'all think. Also, Taraji came on here saying how she don't get paid like that either. But anyways, trapping nobody. Did not trap nobody. Uh, you yeah you trapped somebody you trapped yourself and it's easy for you to have trapped him if you had said that you was doing things to prevent that from happening even though let's keep it real james has a an uh opportunity to do what he needs to do to protect himself but i'm sure in your fashion you know uh you wouldn't have even wanted him to do that you probably would have said you're allergic and you guys know what i'm talking about you get what I'm saying? She has a good thing for words. She's been around town for a while. She's had several baby daddies. She knows how to trap a man without actually, you know, saying, yeah, I trapped him. It's way. So, moving forward, after I had told him I was pregnant in Aruba and I had posted a video, he got upset. Mind you, he didn't get upset until after 